So there are, there are various clocks. Uh, the DNA methylation one is the most popular, but you can measure uh, immune age, you can measure glycation, which is there are sugars being put on proteins. Uh, you can also measure frailty in animals and people and use machine learning to get numbers. You can do transcriptomics. Uh, you can do blood biomarkers, which is what I've been doing for over a decade. Um, so those are very important. It, part of the issue right now is that they're not done frequently in population studies. So I'm excited that it's becoming more and more routine. And that's one of the reasons that I'm excited about bringing the cost of that test down so that we could do millions of people's clock uh, and then truly learn what's going on uh, to drive aging and perhaps things that slow it down, we could discover that way. But yeah, it's really important that we look at these other markers as well. Proteomics is a new one uh, that was just published um, in the last year that you can look at small proteins and large in the bloodstream and build a clock that way. Go back 10 years ago, we well, 15 years ago, we had nothing. All we could do was just say, yeah, that, that animal or that person looks old and they don't walk very fast. But now we have these quantitative ways of measuring aging, which means that um, we can make much quicker progress in understanding how to delay it and slow it down um, and, and even reverse it.